IT visibility is all about taking the existing data sources that you have, consolidating them together into one view so that we can clean and enrich them with the Technopedia catalog. Technopedia is going to look for what it does and does not recognize within your environment so that we can gap fill that and get you clean and enrich information on what data sets matter most to you. What we do already automatically recognize will be passed through an additional filter to make sure that we move out any irrelevant information so that you don't have to deal with that data inside of the existing reporting views. Duplicates are always going to be a factor with multiple inventory sources, so we will normalize everything down into a consolidated, cleaned and enriched environment so that you can report for your business. All reports that we have are available inside of the solution and they're leveraging embedded Power BI so that it's a comfortable, robust solution that's industry leading so that you can report out of what is most comfortable for you. Inside of our reports, you're able to go and look at additional details on what software and hardware you have within your estate and the enrichment provided by Technopedia. We're showing you information on what categories and subcategories of hardware and software you have what the implication of lifecycle is to those installations, and where you have the most impact across each of those different categories, manufacturers, and groups most relevant to you and your business. This is so that you can follow regulations and mandates and make sure that you're keeping everything as up-to-date as possible and reducing risk within your environment. If leveraging reporting and custom reporting is not necessarily how you want to go about your day and you have use cases for extracting this information to access data through technology intelligence, you don't have to use our out-of-the-box reports or custom reporting, you can actually use a GraphQL API. GraphQL allows you to look at the data on the back end so that you can see it as if you had full access. This leverages GraphQL introspection so that you can see exactly what the schema, the structure, and the data sets that are available to you are, as well as how you can augment, filter, sort, and extract data exactly how you would like. An example of this would be if we wanted to do a quick query on the back end and we said we want all the devices within our environment, we want specifically the name, the domain, and the serial number of each device. Specifically, we want only devices where they're running software, where the, uh, the name of the software, let's say, contains, oh, I don't know, SQL Server, SQL Server 2012, just to narrow that down even further. Now, with that in mind, we're going to say that we need specifically the manufacturer of that piece of software, we need the product of the software, and the version, and let's say that we get a lifecycle date. That way we get the full data set that we would like, and let's just make it end of life. To make sure that we get only what we want, we'll say that it needs to contain this, so we'll require this. Whenever we send this through, it's actually gonna query the back end of our data sets so that you can see exactly what you have in your environment. You can see exactly how that data is structured, and you get it back out in the format that you need. This can be structured, formatted, and manipulated however you'd like, so that whenever you're working with data, you can get it back out in the format that's most effective for you so that you can start to automate your business and leverage Flexera as the continued source of truth for all things data curation, normalization, lifecycle management, and risk management within your organization. That's just the power of technology intelligence.